Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the three little bins. Let's look at bin number one. These are European night crawlers that are members of the family from the Titan Project. So let's take a look and see what we've got this week. Except a crap ton of springtails. Moisture looks really good. Looks like I've got a good range in population. Looks like some of the coffee filters and paper look like they've got a little bit of uh, potato peel left. Maybe a little banana. It was a pretty heavy feeding last time. So we do, we are seeing lots of balled up worms here. Looks like they're getting into the avocado. Let's flip it over and see what else we've got. Okay, lots of good castings. Looks like the potato peels are growing, trying to grow again. Banana peel. Not exactly sure what. Oh, that's a that's a mango pit. Okay. All right. So these guys look like they're doing a really good job. Kind of fluff them up, get some air in there. And then I've got a little bit of a melon feeding. So they should totally enjoy that. This is still frozen, so kind of just spread that out so they can get away with or get away from it if they don't want to be a part of that. It's 90 degrees here today, so even here in the basement, it's, it's a toasty 75, give or take. These guys are super happy in this kind of weather. Not the 90, but the 75. Alright, well let's cover these little guys up and get on to the next. Bin number two. Same story. Uh, European night crawlers, mostly. Although I do try to keep them separated, I'm not 100% successful. So let's see what this little bin is doing. Enjoying that avocado peel, banana peel. Working on their bedding. Little banana peels and avocado shells. All in all, it looks like they did quick work of that last feeding. Got a nice little bit of a worm ball there. You can smell the orange. which I don't mind at all. But getting them all fluffed up here, keep the oxygen throughout, and then let's get them some melon. All right, just a little bit of melon there. They do have quite a bit of food left. Don't want to give them too much and make a mess down here with mats and whatnot. them all covered up. And the night worm. And we'll go on to the next bin. Alright, here we are, bin number three. Okay, let's see what these guys are doing. They are certainly making castings pretty quickly, considering these bins were only started a month or so ago. Let's turn over the back end here where I fed and see if we've got a worm ball or anything interesting. Got some potato peels that are growing. Inside a coffee filter.
Yeah, I don't see any oranges, but I can smell them. Worm bin smell vision I know, right? Sometimes a good thing, sometimes not. Okay, well, they seem like they've gone through more than the other ones did. One little tomato skin and aside from me being able to smell some of the food, I don't really see it except for the potato peels. So let's straighten them out. And let's give them some of the melon. Alright, we'll cover these guys up. I think I've got enough bedding for right now. And then we will look at them again later. Cut them up with their little bubble wrap. Alright guys, well if you liked the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.